In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create five options in infographic slide in PowerPoint and this is how the slide works. When I click, it will show you the first box where I've added the option number one, the icon and title and detail text. And when I click, it will come with a different color box, the option two, option three, option four and option five. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to insert shapes from the rectangles, choose the first option which is the rectangle, just click it here, make the height and width as 1.5. Shape outline, make it no outline and you can give any color of your choice. I'm going to give this blue color. Then duplicate this by pressing Ctrl D and, and keep it aside for later use. Now select this option, right mouse click, go to the format shape. Under the effects, go to the 3D rotation from the presets. I'm going to choose which is off axis one right. So it looks something like this. Then go to the 3D format and here depth i'm going to increase from 0 to 175 all right then once that is done you can just go to the lighting select this option all right and the same option let it be like this all right so i end up getting a shape which looks something like this now bring this one and make the height and width maybe to 1.3 okay and shape fill i'm going to fill this with white color and bring the white color exactly on top of this Again for this also make sure you need to go to the 3D rotation and select this option which is off axis one right and then exactly put it here in the center. So it looks something like this alright. So now select both the options press ctrl G to group it bring it down then ctrl D to duplicate move it exactly on top of this one make sure that you have properly aligned and you can just select and you can just give any color of your choice so here i'm going to give maybe a green color all right now again duplicate this by pressing ctrl d move it again on top of this again i'm going to give some different color maybe a purple then duplicate this one now this time i'm going to bring this one down so for that you need to send this to back okay send this to back sorry and then align it properly once again and again give a different color combination maybe i'm going to give an orange and zoom a little bit and make sure that it is properly aligned okay so once this is done the last one press ctrl d bring it down give some different color maybe i'm going to give red color here again send this to back and then again align it properly let me just zoom in and align it all right yeah that is done so once this is done you can see here i have put all the five boxes here now i'm going to give the uh, the name option number one two three four like that so go to insert text box here i'm going to say one center align i'm going to use font open sans extra bold or any other font of your choice increase the size you can see here maybe 80 then go to the text options under the text effects here under the 3d rotation i'm going to choose the same one which is this one okay so it rotates here and i'm going to put it like this press ctrl d to duplicate just first place it then we can just rename it later okay press ctrl d again and yes so this is uh, option number two option number three four and option number five again give the same color what the color we have used for the boxes so this one will be orange color this will be the purple All right, so let me just put this color as green and this is blue. 
so you can see here we have added this one now we have to just group this once again okay select each of the boxes and press ctrl g all right so now i'm going to choose this option four press ctrl g and then the last one all right and one if it is come front just send this to back again all right so you can see here option numbers then you can go insert text box you can add a title okay and then make it bold i'm going to make it right align go to insert text box add detail text here again this also right align reduce the font size and i'm going to put it here make sure both are align right and press ctrl g to group it so i'm just going to put the title in the text here press ctrl d the second one will come here the third one will come here or you can just if you want you can put it at the top also now for this one i'm going to select and i'm going to make this as a left align and here also align left all right so this will come here and press ctrl d this will come here so you can see here we have added the text and the title and the option numbers as well and then you can just go to insert click on icons and depending on the requirement you can create your i mean select the own icons so here it's taking some time okay so now here i'm going to choose some random icons so this is my first icon maybe i'm going to choose this icon this one this one and one more let me just choose anything which is maybe books and click on insert move it aside i'm going to make the height and width as maybe 0 0.7 and i'm going to give as white color and then bring it one by one from here all right so you can see here generally i don't see because we have made it white that's the reason i cannot see but anyway yeah then this one yeah again if you want you can just give some shadow effect to it all right so you can just go here shadows presets and i can give this perspective okay you can increase the distance and you can reduce the transparency as well so you can see here i have given the a shadow effect here for the same thing you can add the shadow effect for these options as well so once this is done you can add some basic animation which is go to the animations enable the animation pane here i'm going to choose animation which is fly in it comes something like this and for this i'm going to use the animation which is a uh, basic zoom or oh, sorry i'm going to make it peek in click ok the peek in should happen after previous and then this title and the text add animation more entrance effect stretch click ok and stretch make it from right and this should happen with previous so if i play it comes something like this so you can just using the animation painter you can just copy the animation effects here you can see here simply just copy and put it here